dude. Get a cough drop, my god. Welcome to the beginning of the Shadow and Bone Season 2 reactions. The first half is going to be on my channel, and then we're going to switch over to Elias for the next video. I'm excited to see Mal again because he's the hottest character on the show. Mal. Yo, Ben Barnes is pretty hot too. And Ben Mars is not my type. Mal is exactly my type in terms of physicality and personality because he's so dependable and loyal to you, <laughs> like a dog. Hey, sometimes the dark side, it's, it's where it's at. I bet you they're gonna try to improve the whole weird racism against Alina thing. Cause remember how in season one, every time she showed up, she would just like breathe for two seconds and people would be like, you fucking rice eater chink. Rice eater representation. <laughs> I bet you the show creators and the writers probably paid attention to what people were saying. So I think they're gonna try to fix that by not making the racism as clunky and maybe showing a little bit more about Alina's like heritage. Maybe. I think if they were trying to be uh, more, more subtle careful. this time instead of in your face. Yeah, I think they'll try to make it more subtle or like develop it a little bit more. Why do people not like Asians or rice eaters in this universe? We didn't really get an explanation. You know, they're they're all like brown rice and quinoa lovers. <laughs> There's like a like, hierarchy. It's just like you don't like quinoa. The divergent role will be the person who likes couscous. For those of you who are sick and tired of being called a rice eater and you still want to eat rice but you want to expand a little bit to other types of food might i suggest the sponsor of today's video green chef green chef is a cclf certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean delicious dinners some of you may remember that i used to cook hellofresh on my channel but fun fact green chef is now owned by hellofresh and they offer even more meal plans to choose from there is vegan vegetarian mediterranean protein pack gluten-free keto paleo basically something for everyone i love switching between both brands when my taste change over time or just when I want to eat a little bit differently. One of the biggest things that I hate about cooking is grocery shopping and having to plan my meals ahead of time. So I love that I don't have to visit the grocery store anymore and I can just choose from the recipes ahead of time. And they're actually more nutritious because they use farm fresh ingredients and seasonal organic produce. They have saved so much time and energy in my life. So if you want to get in on this deal, you can use my code WITHCINDY60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. You can go to the link in my description below or Green Chef com for more details and now on to the video this is Alina looking at all the poor people knowing that she has the Netflix bag now. Oh, he's so cute. This whole love triangle is her deciding between friendship or daddy issues. She's like, fuck, he's so fine. You see the hand on the arm? Classic. Get it, Alina. Technically, he is a daddy in real life, too. Oh my god, yeah, he's a baby daddy. He recently had a pit. I can be a stepmom. No, you wouldn't. You <laughs> hate children. Shh. I know you can do it someday. Don't want to see it kill you in the process, okay? Hot stones. She's like, oh my god, let's just do it right now in this line. <laughs> they're that awkward couple just making like sex eyes while they're, you're in line at the amusement park. They're like doing PDA while you're just waiting to get on like this slinky ride at Disney World. Slowly hand over those shooters and you, Spud. Oi, where'd she go? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she just literally disappeared right in front of them. She's like, peace out. <laughs> I'm a person of color, bitch. I can fade in and fade out in this show anytime. Oh my God, no wonder he's a germaphobe. He's like, stop touching me. <laughs> <laughs> in this fucking pandemic. <laughs> They're like, stop this wagon, he's a germaphobe. <laughs> Honestly, that's just riding economy class on American Airlines. You get the same amount of space. Mm. Hmm? Who? The guy who plays Nikolai. Oh. I didn't notice because the character is supposed to be exceptionally handsome. It's funny how they had to cast for a guy who is this royal prince and super charismatic character, and then they just hired the leader of like Delta Gamma Phi at the closest fraternity house. <laughs> I think he's attractive because I already watched him from somewhere else. Where was he from? DOA. He's literally about to pledge them right now into Delta Gamma Phi. And the reward's gone up. 20 million to hand her over to Fjord. People would never pay that much to find me. You know why? You're 100% rice eater. They'd be like, we're looking for Cindy. I might give you five dollars if I have any pocket change. It all looks so uh, comfortable. Oh, it is. You can take the bed. I'll sleep on that thing. Oh, don't be silly. There's enough room for both of us. Damn, she's like, let's fucking go. She's like, I'm gonna light up your world, boy. I'm gonna go to the, to the port. We can start on tracking this sea whip. She's like, damn, I wanted to get into your sea whip. She and the Darkling are the reason why we are here. With nothing. How come no one at the library recognized that she was there in the first place? They're like, all Asians look the same. Imagine being shit talked at the library, where the whole point of being in the library is that everyone is quiet. Oh. Is the sun summoner? Dude, she was literally right there the whole time. Hello. <laughs> the lady had to look at the paper and be like, oh, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> the ugly ass drawing, I recognize it anywhere. 
Wow, it's giving Aladdin. One jump, ahead of the dun dun. Ripped rat, street rat. I don't buy that. Not the fucking slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, The Matrix? This is me seeing you getting beat up in a crowd and I just fart to disperse everyone. It's time to turn you in. What is this? Get out of the way. In what world would the police ever be like, oh no, people are in the way. We can't shove them out of the way or act violent against them at all. This is you and me <laughs> showing up. <laughs> this is our I was premiere. Like, Here are the other Asians. Now everyone's wanted. Notice how it's always the hottest people on the show who end up being wanted. In this world, it's dangerous to be conventionally attractive. <laughs> Owns the club. Everyone who works there now works for Pekka Rollins. There's more. The menagerie. He owns that now too. Along with everything else the menagerie owns. This was me working at Twitter and finding out Elon Musk now owns it. When every man in uniform hears that Kaz Brecker killed one of you with your own gun. He's like, I'm Irish. I don't know how I got stuck here. He said, happy St. Patrick's Day, bitch. There's Wylan. This is you trying to make Patreon money. Wylan looks like a character who should have been on Heartstopper, but he got randomly dropped in on Shadow and Bone instead. And he's like, what the fuck am I doing here? Why? Because he's some skinny, gay British dude. So perhaps we could agree to help one another? Girl supporting girls. She's like, this is the white girl I trust. Here's the thing. I think Nina and Matthias are cute. I also think Kaz and Inej are cute, but both the girls are way better than the men that they are with. And if we were in a true fair world, the girls would be with each other. The thing is though, at least Kaz knows that Inej can do better. So at least he has that awareness. Or Kaz and Matthias be together. Kaz and Matthias? Yeah, why not? I don't see that. Opposite attract. Do you think Matthias is hot? Sure. Nikola would be more approachable. Like Matthias and me would have literally nothing in common. We would be strangers passing each other on the street. Let's be real, both Nikolai and Matthias are in the same fraternity. You wouldn't be talking to either of them. I'm told you could free someone from Hellgate. Someone I say as if he's anyone, and in truth, he's the love of my life. Girl, you were with him for like two days, and he's the love of your life. It's called insta-love. I don't take orders on my own shit, and we're already underway. <laughs> Nikolai looks like a theater major who just put on a coat. <laughs> <coughs> oh no, he has COVID. Truly is a miracle that you survived. We are survivors. I'm a survivor. Her acting is just staring tearfully <laughs> every time. She said, let me get my Emmy. I am in desperate need of your particular touch. <laughs> They're like, budget constraints? Let's get rid of these scars. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, wear a mask. We are in a pandemic. Not you coughing into your hand and then touching her hand. This is how that shit spreads. She's like, what the fuck? She's I'm not getting paid enough for this shit. She's, Goodbye. <laughs> she's so uncomfortable. <laughs> she's so traumatized. She's like, you're fucking sick, dude. I don't want whatever the fuck you have. I'd like to keep you close. Ew, get away from her. He gets so codependent on any young girl that's just beside him. Dude, she has like the biggest ick right now. <laughs> She's like, oh God, he's so fucking disgusting. This is like every girlfriend who is being chased by Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, think about the money. The way their wanted posters are literally just a photo of them put on Photoshop <laughs> with the black filter, and black and white, grain 100%. Aw, the gang is getting lunch at Denny's. And there's no need to know the plan. Um, yes, I, I too would like to know the plan. He's like, I'm here. I too would like to know the plan. I was supposed to be on Heartstopper, but I think they put me in the wrong casting department. Jasper, Wylan, you follow the driver. Inej, I want you to take watch on the roof. I need you with me while I copy Henrik's book. Second floor, second last door on the left. What? Heinrich's office. How do you know this? I asked the waitress. She's like, y'all are freaking dumb. Y'all would be useless without me. Nina is the best character on the show. <laughs> she just gets shit done. Everyone's like, we're gonna do a heist and do all the shit. And she's like, damn, she can ruin the fun, honestly. She's, she's like, fuck that. No heist. Let's just go in. She's ruining the crow's plan to be filler content for like eight <laughs> episodes. This is my eczema flaring up. The water. Softens the bread. Yummy. See, this is what life would be like without Green Chef. Uh, uh, for, for many years, yes. Um, mainly remedies for muscle pain. Ooh, I kind of shipped them together for some reason. Why the fuck <laughs> would you ship them together? He's like the grumpy, like, you know, pessimistic one. And he's like, listen, I can take your pain away. This guy auditioned to play Wyland, but he didn't get the role, so now he's this guy. What did you find? There's a doorman even after hours, and a pair of roving guards in the halls. We leave in 10. No. Inesh is like, why do I always have to have a conversation with you with your back fucking turned, and you just staring broodingly into the fog? There's enough secrecy in this crew as is. Secrecy is the only way to survive the barrel, Inesh. Trust is the other side of secrecy, Kaz. Let me in, Kaz. You're the only white person that tells me what to do. Look at me, Kaz. Just look at me. Look how cute 
together. It's kind of endearing. You just think any two random characters that stand next to each no. other. You're like, ooh, they no. should be together. Mal's fine, but you know what? Who's your number one though? Rank the guys. The Darkling, Nikolai, Mal. Mine would be Mal. Mal. <laughs> You're like, every guy here's so mediocre. Yeah, I'm not no, impressed. No, Mal, the other Asian guy? No, I can't pick him because he's you. So? So <laughs> That what? would be like picking my brother. How did he not hear the creature literally breathing over his head? How did no one see that? Of course, none of the important characters are gonna get attacked. That's how it goes. They never kill the hottest people on the show. Hello, little lynx. Imagine being hunted down by a furry. <laughs> Ew. Ew, get away from her. The fuck? Not her about to get hate crime. <laughs> Wait, we have met before, haven't we? How did they not see them underneath the carriage? How convenient to have those two in close proximity. Meet the newest member of my crew. See, Nina is the MVP of this show. She gets shit done. <gasps> and she'll be fine. Ew. He's They're so gross. gross. <laughs> they really picked the crustiest man to fight off Inej. Hasn't she spent her whole life dealing with crusty men? She doesn't need this too. That's scary when you catch it. <gasps> oh! Period. She... Wow, she didn't need no one coming to save her. See, she doesn't fucking waste time. She doesn't make a whole spectacle of like, oh my god, will I die or not? She's like, fuck you, I'm gonna take you down and then leave. Every time we cut to the Darkling, I remember that he exists. <laughs> He's just been brooding the entire time. I like broody men. She's like, uh, yeah, yes. She's like, yes, Mal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when the, the firepox plague hit years ago, so many people died that the, the crematoriums all got backed up, so they had to float all the dead bodies on the harbor. <laughs> I said, no! Bro, <laughs> this is called projection. We're just having a normal conversation. He's like, enough! What you did tonight made you a crow. Keep a low profile. She's like, bitch, I don't even want to be a crow. Y'all don't get shit done. Like, you don't pay me well enough for this. Also, you're a shitty leader. You just space out and have flashbacks. It's a game of chance. Oh my god, Cass used to have a bowl cut. Now that's trauma. Inej. Man, How the fuck like, is she fit through that little window? She's a skinny legend. Making sure you're comfortable. Locked up with that deranged tide maker for weeks. Do you still like the Darkling even though he has mommy issues? Would you want to be with a guy like that? I mean, if I have to choose between daddy issues and mommy issues. But Mal doesn't have any daddy or mommy issues because his parents are dead. Boom, issues erased. <laughs> Imagine the actor having to act all these scenes without the special effects and they're just like... <sighs> uh, Cindy, I feel so strong. You can do this on your own. You can't save them, Alina. You know how usually when you start a new season, you get the recap of the previous season? Mm -hmm. They skip the recap because we're just getting the recap through her flashbacks. Identify yourselves at once or be shot. Well, I know it's been a number of years, but people swear I remain boyishly handsome. It can't be. It's my prince. They realize he's alumni from Delta Beta Phi. This is so attractive to me. <laughs> Sitting on a horse. I can't tell if you're just trying to get reaction out of me or if you genuinely believe this shit. What do you mean? That is so attractive. The uniform, the boots. This uniform that he borrowed from the theater department of his community college. <sighs> just a man sitting on a horse is just... Yeah, you wish you were that horse? But you're the sun summoner. You can't afford weakness. Is that why you were so cruel to me? Trying to toughen me up? She's like, I was just a little racist. I'm just a mean lesbian, that's why. If you're racist just once, it's okay. It's called growth. Are you? Uh, we're here to fix the piano Mr. Rollins sent us. I hate piano. Hey, another Scottish little lad. He hates piano. You are gambling with our lives, and I deserve to know the reason. Pekka Rollins killed my brother. She's like, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> Who did it, Pekka Rollins kill? Kaz is like, ew. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. Gross. Is there anyone to protect you? Was there no one to protect you? Duh. <laughs> Who the fuck was looking after her? Look for Mogens' tells. You shift your weight onto your back leg before you lunge. He literally just dabbed it and that was it. <laughs> She's like, I'll shift my weight into yours. <clears throat> Nina, you cock blocker. Nina's like, if I can't be with my man, none of y'all are gonna have your own moment. <laughs> That's not what you think. I was 
just thinking that he's shit at first aid. He is shit at first aid. <laughs> he was just like, ew, ew, hee <laughs> hee, he, girl time. Honestly, the girls are better together. So he can take on all of these men, but when it came to Pekka Rollins, that one man. Yeah, I, I don't know. Dude, those guys are just standing there. Hello, y'all can take him on if you just swarm him. Nah, uh, they're like, wow, they're all watching? That's fucking hot. Oh my God, if I was watching, I'd be like, oh, so turned on. Who do you want standing in that door when the lion gets hungry? Sign me up. <laughs> me next. You're all with me now. I'll be like, on my knees. Yes, then. Submissive and breedable. You could have just rung the bell, little one. Ding, ding, bitch. Oh my gosh. Not this enemies to lovers. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you don't see it? I'm telling you, anytime two people are in a scene together, you just ship them. <laughs> Inesh already has to deal with one crusty white man. She doesn't need to deal with this guy, too. Finish him. Cut off his ball sack. You know what's really annoying about these people? What, they take forever to kill them? They stretch the scene with final words and everything. I just be like, bam, bam, you're done. Wham, bam, thank you, like, ma'am, boom. No fucking monologue or any of that shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna say a fucking prayer. She's unable to destroy it by herself. <laughs> I feel like he's kind of become a loser in this season. He's like coughing everywhere, coughing and hacking, spreading COVID. He's all fucked up, he can barely walk. He has to beg his mom. If there's any one more thing I do need from you. What? Ah. <gasps> oh my God. Bro. He is such a loser. The Darkling said elder abuse. <laughs> He's like, fuck your retirement home. <laughs> I think if a guy breaks his mom's fingers, that's kind of a red flag. Just a, it's just one red flag, you know, whatever. It's still forgivable. <laughs> <laughs> the mom has the white other nine fingers. It's fine. You're like, she didn't need all the fingers. <laughs> she had arthritis anyway. <laughs> I'll bring you under the wing of the royal family. This is a proposal proposal. You're suggesting I'm marriage. I'm proposing a love match. Just a political alliance of Grisha and Akazatia. Yeah, well, that's just what royal marriages are, aren't they? Stop it, Mouse. Stop being so jealous. The biggest turn off for me is jealousy. I hate that shit. It's like, <laughs> trust your partner, bitch. If you love someone, you wouldn't like it if they were being married to some Okay, but row. if it's gonna be for the sake of the whole world, and he's hot, hello? Don't they ever think of a threesome? Open relationship? Spice it up a little? Just want this. You know that. She's like, no. Babe, come on. <laughs> you have all just, the benefits. Just be open. <laughs> it's 2023, you're not even a little bit bi. Everyone's doing poly oh now. Oh my god, can you imagine Nikolai and the Darkling and Mallow in a room together? Oh my god. Not interested. <laughs> yes! I rescue you from certain death, yet you abandon me. Bitch, you're sick and crusty, and you're a loser! I need you, Jenny. Bro, you're just gonna stand there? What, he didn't even what? do anything. He's a terrible boyfriend. Hello. Cute. They're so cute, I love it. Wyland's like, I'm still gonna have my Heartstopper moment. He's gonna be like to Jasper, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Jasper is gonna Google, am I bi? And then a tear will fall down his cheek. <laughs> what is the boy's name? Albie. Albie Rollins. What are you gonna do with him? He's just a kid. We already know he's not gonna do anything to him. Fuck them kids. Albie Rollins can't help who his father is. You can't punish him for that. You know what? I'm fine with it. Kaz, do whatever you have to do. Oh yeah, I'm fine with it too. Who cares? He's a rich, spoiled brat anyway. I forgot Matthias existed for a bit. Oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> Matthias too. If I was Nina, I would've forgotten him by now. <laughs> Dude, fucking chill. Get a cop drop, my god. General. She looks like she works at Hot Topic. She looks like she belongs on Wednesday Adams. <laughs> Dude, calm down. It's okay, babe. We'll get it back. He's doing too much. He's sick. Well, I'm sick of him. Imagine being Ben Barnes and you just spend all your filming days being in a dark little room, just coughing everywhere. I mean, heck yeah, getting paid. Having sure. tantrums. Ew, ew, what's he doing? What is oh. he doing? Oh, dude, when I saw him lick his finger, I thought he was gonna give her a wet willy. Why did you agree to leave the second army? The engagement was there to protect you, not put you on the front line. What about the other Grisha who need protection? I don't like this protective, this protectiveness angle. I'm like, bitch, calm down. Trust me, I got this shit. <laughs> we came here to unite Ravka. You came here for Ravka. I came here for you. Aww. It's because he literally has nothing else going on in his life but her. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I've nothing to live for. He's like, I guess I'll go mope now. I'll go mope in my room until hopefully I get to see you again. Arrogant fool. 
which are attempting is heresy. Bitch, this whole thing is heresy. She's like, this is the shittiest retirement home <laughs> I've ever been in. It is funny though, they tried to make her ugly, but she still looks way hotter than we ever will be. No mourners. No, no funerals. funerals. Honestly, no mourners, no funerals is kind of cheesy. I think it's fine in the books, but when you see it in the show, it's just like this corny ass shit. What would you say your tagline? No money, no bitches. He claims to have escaped from a very alive General Kerrigan. He gave himself up without a struggle. Mal's like, I want Alina time now. I've been waiting too long. Alina, you haven't paid attention to me in like five seconds. Yeah. I'd reconsider if you want to see your Kalish prince again. Fond of sweets, blonde hair. I'll be. We hung him up by the piano string and trapped his body inside the piano organs. Too far? <laughs> <laughs> if only he actually would kill the kid. Like imagine if Pekka Rollins was about to play the piano and then there's a one discordant note. He's like, what's going on? He opens the piano, it's his dead kid right there. Boom. Props. What the hell do you want? I want you to remember. Yeah, remember when you gave my brother acne? Where's my son? <laughs> That's what he gets for assuming Kaz was more of a badass than he actually is, because he never would have killed the kid. The night that we first met, I left because I assumed that's what you were going to do. <gasps> Wait, they did sleep together. Oh my god, what? This changes things. They had a one night stand. You put that twink in LA, all the gays would eat him up. <laughs> Damn, that was fast. Cute. Oh. oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Toaster, toaster in the oven. We had a plan. It was unexpected. I had to make a decision in the moment. You chose straight. I didn't know where you were. I didn't know if Pekka had hired another assassin to kill you. I didn't know. He's doing so much. You're so annoying. Also, you shouldn't be talking all this shit while your face looks fucked up like that. <laughs> the way she's like, bye, bitch. <laughs> yeah, bye. I'm not gonna tolerate you and your wonky eye. You look magnificent. And you look like a theater major. Understatement is overrated. I love it when you quote me. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of find it endearing. Hey, it's okay. I can quote you anytime you want. I ship them. I ship it. I ship them. Cute! Eh. If you had to pick all through all of them, that life would be the comfiest. Yeah, but you would have to deal with that annoying ass brother and his Republican mom. Well, I'd be like, fuck you. And all his annoying royal family and all like, this shit you. going fuck on. It. I'm the commoner marrying to the royal family. Like that gives me such a higher boost of confidence and power. I don't know. Being royalty in this kind of world doesn't look that great. <laughs> Oh shit. They ripped him apart. Wait, the brother died? Yeah. Well, good. He was annoying anyway. Dude, I'm telling you, in this show, the least attractive people die first and the hot people survive. That's crazy. Let me help you. Oh my God, she's so turned on right now. She's glitching and shit. Dude. <laughs> Her pussy is short circuiting. <laughs> you and your Lance of Prince, happily ever after. Your faithful tracker curled up at the foot of your throne. Ah, Darkling, now you being a little jealous. You said you didn't like jealousy. <laughs> it's the double standards for me. Come on, come on, we gotta go. That concludes the first four episodes of Shadow and Bone. I do think that every single male character in the show is just, I don't know, maybe I'm just really horny. <laughs> <laughs> I like Nina the best. She's very competent and useful yeah. and she gets shit done. So is the Darkling. What do you mean? He's just been like, coughing and hacking everywhere. He I'm like, shit bro. Done. He getting shit done. Tune in to Elisa's channel for the second half of the season. I'll see you next time. Bye.